Welcome back to another how-to video with Trend Micro. My name is Michael Clifford. I'm a support engineer here at Trend Micro. Uh, we're still going over the methods of agent migration in this video, and today's method is the cut, the hammer, the best of them all, the, the most successful move ever in the history of moves. You can see here we have our DC01, and this is my targeted endpoint for the cut utility. So I'm gonna go ahead and remote into it. Look, look at all these, look at all this. There we go. And I've already stationed this on the C drive uh, just for demonstration purposes, but you could script this up. So there's a, there's quite a bit going on here and I just wanna go over it a little bit because it, it's not complicated, but there are some steps. So foremost, you have to request a cut from support. Uh, we don't just have this tool available for public use and it does expire quarterly. So if it expires on you, as long as you're entitled to support, we can supply the tool to you. So usually when I send out the cut to a uh, to an entitled support person, um, I package it with this readme. And this readme has instructions on how to package it with an MSI. So I've already downloaded my MSI package for my Apex One. And uh, you can name it whatever you want. However, if you're going to use this, you have to name it very specifically to this name. This name right here. So you peel out the blank EXEs and their configs. Uh, this is how I package it. So you just copy these to where the cut is. And uh, that's it. So these blank EXEs make a call to the MSI, which install it. So we could just run the cut directly right here. And it will fully remove the agent and then install it via that MSI. So it, it's really that simple. And this is a great tactic for SCCM um, just to have almost a hundred percent ratio of success and in installation of the agent. So I'll just run as administrator here and we'll just call uh, the cut directly instead of the cut silent just so we can watch what's going on. I mean I'll pause the video a few times because it does take a little bit more time which is one of the downsides. It takes about you know five to eight minutes just to run the cut and then the install past that is another couple of minutes itself. So it's not the fastest method however it is the most successful method. So here we are doing all the stuff and there, bam, done. <laughs> so it's off to the races. Uh, we'll start seeing the services go off, the agent unload, the agent uninstall, and then the reinstall go off and may need to reboot after this, but uh, overall, not, not too shabby, not too bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause. Like I said, it does take a couple of minutes, but I'll unpause and show you guys any particularly interesting things that occur during this process. All right, here we are a couple minutes in and it's just finishing off the cut and it's about to start running the MSI. So you can see here it selected the OSCE client underscore X64. It's a 64 bit machine, so it would select that. And that is actually calling the MSI right now to install the agent. You can see on the services that the office scan agent is completely gone. I have no more office scan agent. So we're working on a clean slate and it's installing the MSI over that. And that is the reason for the high success ratio of this method. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause it while the install goes on. I <laughs> uh, don't wanna just uh, have you guys watching blank screen. I mean, I could sit here and you could watch my neurotic mousing for about 10 minutes, but <laughs> I, think, uh, I think I'll pause it and bring you back when we're getting a little bit further on the install. So it's just finishing up and it says you need to reboot your PC once. Finally, <laughs> question mark, <laughs> but it is running. You do have the agent, it is running. Uh, you don't necessarily need to reboot right away. This is the whole restart require thing to activate different modules on the agent. However, at this point, it's connected to the Apex One server, it's operating, it is in a functional state, and you can go ahead and schedule a reboot um, uh, upon your change control schedule or your reboot schedule uh, as necessary. So we'll go ahead and check the console real quick, verify that it is showing up. So this is the Office Scan XG console, and this is the one downside to the cut tool. Since you are uninstalling it, the server doesn't know that it's just uh, not there anymore. It, it didn't undergo a move command, so there was no receipt of uh, remove me from your console back from the agent. So you're gonna have to manually remove anything you do with this method. Uh, but you could always reference it against your Apex One server to figure out what has moved and what hasn't moved. It takes a little bit of extra organization. Um, however, 
like I said, depending on your needs, this is a very high successfully, highly successful way of moving agents around. I wish I knew my password. All right, and here it is. Uh, as you can see, it was in the domain controllers, but since we installed based on the package, it'll move to wherever the package stated it will move to instead of where you need it to go. So you'll have to go ahead and shift this over manually or uh, specify it within the MSI you have running on you know specific servers. But that's it, it's already here. It's uh, getting its update right now, so it'll go offline and come back online and all the things that go along with migrating an agent over. So that's it for the uh, cup migration path. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed that <laughs> as much as I enjoyed running the cut tool. <laughs> cut tool, cut utility. Anyways, uh, catch you on the next video. Bye.